people like me Come all you travelers Tired from the journey Come wait a while, stay a while Welcome you'll be Come all you questioners Looking for answers And searching for reasons And sense in it all Come all you fallen And come all you broken Find strength for your body And food for your soul Come to the feast, there is room at the table Come, let us meet in this place With the king of all kindness Who welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace station and orientation the helpless the hopeless the young and the old come to the feast there is room at the table come let us meet in this place with the king of all kindness who welcomes us in with the wonder of love and the power of grace the wonder of love and the power of grace and schemers and come all you restless just searching for home movers and shakers and givers and takers the happy the sad the lost and alone come self-sufficient with wearied ambition and come those who feel at the end of the road Accusers, abusers, the hurt and ignored Come to the feast, there is room at the table Come, let us meet in this place With the king of all kindness who welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power of grace Come to the feast, there is room at the table and a warm welcome to our third online awards assembly. I've really enjoyed making the first two and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy making this one just as much. It always gives me a thrill to see the work the children have been doing at home and how hard they are. You're all working and doing your best um, to really impress the teachers all the time with the work that you're sending back to them. Well, we've some more children to find out about this week who've been doing some amazing things. So I hope you enjoy the next half hour or so as much as I will when we review some of the award winners and the fantastic work they've been doing. A young man who's won an award from Mr Harkins this week is Seth Trolley, so congratulations Seth. Very well deserved. You've been doing some amazing science work, um, impressing uh, Mr Harkins with all your knowledge around dissolving, mixing and separating of different chemicals. Um, one thing he's also been really impressed with is your very sort of clear demonstration of scientific skills. For example, um, doing very detailed predictions, um, carrying out an investigation and then justifying your explanations and understandings um, when you've completed your work. So a budding scientist there, Seth, congratulations, very detailed work and very deserving of your award. Congratulations. 
Our award winner from Mr. Harkins class this week is Amelia. So congratulations, Amelia. You've been working really hard all the way through school closure and submitting lots of pieces of work. Two pieces of work particularly uh, to highlight recently. One is a, a description that you wrote, which just showed a real sort of love and careful use of language to get to that uh, sort of detail across. That was really nice read. And also the piece of work about world trade, which you showed you've got a good understanding uh, of all that concept. Mr. Harkins is quite right when he says, every piece of work is meticulous in its detail and thoroughly well presented. And he also just wanted to say that he really appreciated that any communication you make uh, to school in response to a question is always done with kindness. So well done, Amelia, a thoroughly well-deserved winner. Congratulations. This week contained National Writing Day and Mrs Kirk used that as an opportunity to set the children um, an, an interesting task which was called the 24-7 Writing Challenge. Now then, the children were allowed to use 24 words and they only had seven minutes to write uh, a piece of description or a story. And one of our award winners this week is Max Wilson. And Max, you were extremely clever and creative in your use of those limited words and times uh, just to write a piece of writing about our current situation. It was brilliant. Really well done, Max. Congratulations on winning your award. Now, Joseph Asprey is also an award winner today. So congratulations, Joseph. Um, you also took part in the National Writing Week challenges and you chose to write a poem, uh, again, explaining your feelings and how it is to be in our current situation. A brilliant piece of work, a deserving in itself, but also Mrs Kirk just wanted to say what a fantastic attitude you've shown towards work throughout the closure period. You've been very conscientious, very consistent and always returning work of a very high standard. So congratulations, Joseph, a fantastically well-deserved award. Well done. I'm really pleased this week that uh, some of the awards have been given for children who have displayed their artistic, creative, um, design and technology skills um, in response to tasks set by their teachers at school. And another winner who has shown those amazing skills is Isabel Clayson. So congratulations, Isabel. Mr. Hallis was thrilled by your model making that you did. You were given the task of trying to make a model of your own house. That's no easy feat, but you did an amazing job of that and you richly deserve your award. So congratulations, Isabel. Keep up the hard work. And that was super impressive. Well done. Now, and another award this week goes to Oakley in Mr. Hallis's class. So congratulations, Oakley. You're our, you're our award winner this week. Um, there are a number of reasons why Mr. Hallis has chosen you to win your award. One of them was for this week writing a fantastic uh, poem, a uh, sound word poem, which was uh, really, really interesting to read and really well written. So that's one thing. But a bit more than that. Mr. Hallis just said he's just been super impressed by your, all your commitment and hard work throughout lockdown uh, and really responding to tasks on a regular basis. So congratulations, Oakley. Well deserving of your award. Keep up the hard work. Well done. Now then, Anna Coates, I hope you're watching this assembly because congratulations are in order for you because you are one of our award winners this week. Congratulations from me and Miss Hully for the work you've been doing this week and indeed for a longer period uh, through the school closure. This week you've been doing some work on rounding decimals to the nearest whole number and you were really able to demonstrate your understanding by using money uh, to help you to help demonstrate um, that good knowledge you have uh, for that aspect of math. So really well done on that work, Anna. And also Miss Hully told me she was really, really impressed with a book review uh, that you wrote about your own book, You and Me, Little Bear. So congratulations, Anna. Brilliant work in maths and English. Keep up the hard work. Well done. Now, somebody else who is showing themselves as a really good mathematician during closure and before closure, indeed, 
uh, is Matilda Fraser. So congratulations, Matilda. You're our award winner this week. I'm really pleased for you. I'm really proud of you. All the work you've been doing this week um, in maths around uh, understanding decimals and how to round decimals and showing a really thorough understanding of the money system is clear for all to see that you've grasped that really well. Always very clear and methodical in your approach, which is a brilliant skill for any mathematician to have. So it was lovely to see all that work, Matilda. And also a very impressive poster about the Mayan civilization, which I know you've been doing in your topic work. So congratulations, Matilda. Great work all round and great commitment. Very well done.
As usual, the children in Miss Abraham's class have been working very hard this week and submitted some great work. One of the tasks the children were set this week uh, was to read a story called Spike the Hedgehog Who Lost His Spikes. Oh, poor Spike, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? And then once they've read it, the children were asked to write a response to try and explain um, how they assumed Spike would feel having gone through that unfortunate episode. Well. One of the people who wrote a fantastic response was Evelyn Moss, so congratulations Evelyn. A thoroughly well-written piece and something that really caught our eye and I know Miss Abraham was thrilled about was your use of some really strong vocabulary to help describe the feelings in that piece of work. So really well done Evelyn and congratulations on winning your award. Keep up the hard work, well done. Now. Some of the children in Miss Abraham's class have been set a task um, to be creative with Play-Doh and they were set a task to build a structure from Play-Doh. So I'm sure that was fun doing all the, the mixing and getting it all ready and then doing all the manipulation and all the moulding to make your shapes. But somebody who did a fantastically creative job of using Play-Doh was Evie Pemberton. So congratulations Evie. You made some buns and then you decorated them with some Play-Doh. And I must say, those buns look absolutely delicious. And I'm sure when you see them in a moment, you'll be wishing you had one of those buns in front of you. I know I do. So congratulations, Evie. Some amazing work all the way through lockdown and some really creative work and very colourful too. So congratulations, Evie. Well done on winning your award. Now I think in Mrs Dixon's class we may have a budding author, somebody who is loving writing during lockdown and has been writing a story, refining it, adding to it all the way uh, for these many months that we've unfortunately not been in school, is Lydia Cornthwaite. Now Lydia, we are super impressed by your perseverance for one thing, but also by the quality of your writing. Every piece of work that you have done for Mrs. Dixon has been really engaging, showing a real love for language and literature, and really showing that you are going to be a writer one day. We've got a lot of faith in you. So congratulations, Lydia. Great work. Keep it up. And we're super impressed with everything you've handed in. Well done. Now, I never cease to be amazed by the creativity of some of the children and that they've demonstrated in responding to some of the tasks that have been set by the teachers. One of the children who's done an amazing job in Mrs Dixon's class is Cassie Wilkinson Lynch. Now, well done Cassie. I've seen the video that you sent in to Mrs Dixon and it's amazing. The children were asked to demonstrate their understanding of different sentence types, for example, uh, using sentences with exclamations. And Cassie decided what she'd do to show her understanding is to make a little video and she's using some dolls to do a little play uh, to demonstrate the script she'd written to demonstrate her understanding. So a great piece of work, Cassie. I really enjoyed watching it. Very creative, very wonderful. Well done, Cassie. Some of the children in Miss Wilkinson's class have been doing some really amazing number work this week, uh, partitioning numbers and reasoning about numbers. And one of the award winners from Miss Wilkinson's class is Brooke Delecky. And Brooke, you've done some amazing work in maths this week. Really impressed Miss Wilkinson. She described your work as super. So really well done, Brooke. Keep up the good work and congratulations on winning your award.
Now, Miss Wilkinson has also been impressed with some of the English work that the children have been doing this week. They've been doing lots of work around sentence construction and trying to spot key parts of sentences, including highlighting verbs and uh, things like that to really under help them understand um, the formation of sentences. And a congratulations go to Ethan Dyer. Uh, really well done this week, Ethan. Miss Wilkinson's been really impressed with the great work you've been doing in English. You've really showed your understanding of uh, sentence construction in English with that work. So well-deserved award, Ethan. Keep up the good work. Well done. Now we really wanted to let you know about one young lady in Miss Burrow's class who's been doing some amazing work around reading during this closure period. Throughout all the time we've been closed, Tilly Morehouse has been working really, really hard on reading as much as she can to improve her reading skills and to explain to us all just how much she's enjoying it and how much she's improving her reading. She's uploaded videos of her reading stories for Miss Burroughs, which have been amazing. And she's also created a beautiful reading corner in her home. Looks like a really cosy place to go to to read a book. I might have to make one myself, Tilly, in my house. A lovely, lovely commitment to reading throughout all this closure period. Congratulations, Tilly. Well done. Now we have a very, very good writer in Miss Burroughs class who's been amazing Miss Burroughs all the way through the closure period with some very consistent writing and that's Abby Robinson. So congratulations Abby, uh, you're definitely a worthy winner of this award. You've done lots of great writing over the last few weeks uh, but to celebrate National Writing Day this week you had to write about something that was very special to you and you chose to write about the birth of your little brother uh, Daniel. So a lovely piece of writing uh, and obviously a very special moment for you and all your family. So congratulations Abby, a uh, richly deserved award. Congratulations. Now, somebody who's been showing off some fantastic art skills this week in Mr Overton's class is Isabel Panataratni. So congratulations Isabel, a very worthy winner. You've done some super artwork this week based on the work of Andy Warhol, a very famous uh, modern artist. You created some very colourful pictures and prints of your own face. And when you get to see them in a moment, everybody, I'm sure you'll agree, they are an amazing replication of the work of Warhol. So congratulations, Isabel. Beautiful artwork. And that's really deserving of a, an award. And also some of the maths work you've been doing this week has also impressed Mr. Oberton. So congratulations, Isabel. Really well done. Now we're all working online a lot more than we used to be uh, through this uh, closure period. And it's really important that we remind ourselves about internet safety and making sure we keep ourselves as safe as possible online. And somebody who can all help us understand that is Lily Beth Kelly. So congratulations, Lily Beth. You're an award winner this week for all the hard work uh, you've undertaken in producing a fantastic internet safety poster. And as I said, a really important message for us all. So thank you, Lily Beth. Also, you've been undergoing some great topic work about the Maya civilization and done some practical work too. So congratulations, Lily Beth. Some great pieces of work and great advice for us all. A very worthy award winner. Well done. Beautiful name it is. 
and somebody who has really impressed him this week is Harry Jagger. Now Harry's been doing lots of uh, writing during lockdown and that has, has really impressed uh, Mr Bailey throughout. 
And this week he's done a particularly wonderful piece of poetry and shown really good use of similes, selecting those really well. Um, excellent use of adjectives and even, Mr Bailey said, you've used a fronted adverbial in your poem. So well done, Harry. A really good standard for other people to see. Congratulations. Well done on winning your award. Mr Bailey would also like to give an award this week to Daisy Dodsworth, so congratulations Daisy. Mr Bailey said you've been doing lots and lots of work throughout the lockdown period and sending lots of videos as well, which he's enjoyed seeing. Um, you've been practicing all your English you've been learning, like using fronted adverbials and also practicing your times tables as well. Uh, but one thing that Mr Bailey was really impressed with recently was a sculpture that you made of your own house. Not only did you include all the usual features like walls and windows, but you also included curtains and wallpaper and even a carpet. It was excellent. Well done, Daisy. Congratulations. In Mr Manette's class, the children were doing lots of work, uh, quite complicated maths this week, about trying to work out the area of compound shapes. And somebody who's done a really good job of that is Holly Miller. So congratulations, Holly. You're one of our award winners this week. You've really got to grips with separating uh, the compound shapes into the different component elements like different squares, different rectangles, and then calculating all those back together to give the area of that shape. I know you've been working hard all the way through lockdown too, Holly, so congratulations. A very well-deserved award. Well done. Time to meet another very good mathematician from Mr Manette's class, and that's Cole Newlove. So congratulations, Cole. You're one of our award winners this week. You've been doing some uh, fantastic work converting miles and kilometres uh, using a, a really good formula to make sure you're always accurate with that. And that's such an important skill to have in life. Uh, I think there's quite a few adults who would struggle with that conversion, Cole, but you've obviously got that sorted out. So congratulations and a very well-deserved award. Well done. There is somebody else in Mr Manette's class who we wanted to give a special mention to today. Somebody who's been doing something uh, really creative and shown that they're very, very competent with IT and computing and has actually made their own website, which is out there. And Joseph Clayson, congratulations on producing your fantastic website, sharing ideas about uh, food and drink that you like and giving tips to, to people to share. I think it's a wonderful website, Joe. And uh, just let us know if you want us to advertise it on the school website for uh, to maximise your audience. But we all thought that was terrific. So well done, Joe. Great work. An award winner from Mr Gardner's class this week is Iona Ferguson. So congratulations, Iona. I know you've been working hard all the way uh, through since school, unfortunately, closed. And um, Mr Gardner particularly wanted to share with everybody a fantastic piece of artwork that you've done which was um, a picture of an eye. Really tricky uh, assignment to undertake, but brilliantly executed by you, Iona. So brilliant work, great commitment, and I think everybody deserves to, to see the artwork. Well done, you. Now, somebody who was really wowed, Mr Gardner, with some excellent creative writing this week is Ellie Pester. So congratulations, Ellie. You thoroughly deserve uh, your award. Um, your writing was, was really interesting to read, great use of language, very lively. And um, I think you really showed you, you sort of got great command of language and uh, really helped to bring that story to life. I really enjoyed reading it. I know Mr Garner did too. So congratulations for that. Um, you also submitted a great video as well, I Have a Dream. Uh, both wonderful pieces of work, Ellie, and I know you've been working hard all the way since school closure, so a thoroughly well-deserved award. Congratulations, Ellie. So, it's clearly been another fantastic week of learning at home, children, so congratulations to everybody who's completing work and returning it on a regular basis and doing it when you can. And special congratulations to all our award winners. You're thoroughly deserving of the praise. Uh, that you get at home and from us for winning those awards this week. So well done to you children especially. And don't forget children, if you haven't won an award this week, keep working hard. You never know, it could be you next week. Now I'm just going to say a prayer as usual at the end of our assemblies. And again, if you want to make it your prayer, 
you can say Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you for watching over me and my family this week. Thank you for keeping us all safe. Please help us to continue to work hard and to look after and care for everyone around us. Amen. Well, that's the end of another assembly. Again, congratulations to all our award winners. I hope everybody in our community is well and I hope you have a lovely weekend and we look forward to seeing you all sometime soon. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye bye. Yeah.